What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, Mr. LLC, and we're here with Tip X today. And we're going to turn the screw. We're going to go for some power. Go for some power. So, what you're going to need to do that is your 316 Allen key. Should have come in the box uh, with your Tip X, and if you've lost it, just go find the 316. That's all you need. Um, <clears throat> we're going to test with what we've been testing with, the 2.9 gram burner kinetic rounds. Okay. We've got the 850 PSI output tank, Tipman tank, and nothing else has changed on here. It's just as you saw it last haven't done anything yet you're gonna see the first turn so we're gonna start back here and so you want to increase velocity turn clockwise you want to decrease velocity turn counterclockwise my first turn I'm gonna go a full one whole rotation clockwise make sure before you do this your marker is not under pressure we got one turn Gonna air it up. We're ready to go. Got our trusty X radar. So we're gonna fire. I've got six shots loaded in here, ready to go. We're gonna measure those, see what we get. Uh then We'll reload and give a half a turn. How about that? Okay, let's go. First shot. One full turn. Oh, and just to reiterate, last when we when we left off, in case you missed it, go check the last video. We were at 307 feet per second at 13 joules. So Going from there, we've got one full turn. First shot. Three, six, two. So already, a vast improvement. Three six zero. Three six zero. Three six one. That dipped down three four nine. That's odd. Three, five, six, back up. Okay, so that's six rounds. Three, 
So, so far, that's what we're looking at at the first turn. Our highest velocity is 362 at the first shot. So we're hovering around uh, 360, then drop down. I don't know what happened there, 349, but then back up 356. So on that, let's go ahead and we're going to empty. We're going to turn our tank off. There's still air in here. You're going to get a good another four or five shots out of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, is load up some of the 2.6ers to get the air out of the system. I don't like to just dry fire air. I like to push something out of the end. So we're going to do that real quick. And that sounds, that's it. I'm going to go recover the balls, reload, we'll be back in a sec. All right, we're back. Uh, we got to make sure we got no air, no air, okay? Save you back on. We're going back again. We got six more. Now we're going to go one half turn. Okay, we're going to increase one half. Let's see what that gives us. Let's get aired up. All right, let's get some. So we're at 1.5 turns. Three, five, nine. Should I have air? You know what? Let me top the tank back up to 3,000. Let's do that. All right, we're back with a full tank. I don't think it really matters or makes that much of a difference because this one's relatively, this marker is relatively conservative on air, but I want to be consistent. I, I want to just be consistent. Let's just say that. So we're back with another full tank. Top it up. Again, 2.9s. And they air it up. And so we have 1.5 turns. X radar is over here. All right. First shot. Full tank. 1.5 turns. Three seven seven. Three six eight. Three seven zero. Three seven five. Three 
372. One more. Three six seven. So we started off the first shot with three seven seven. Our lowest at three six seven for that six shot. So you see we hovered around three seventy ish. Okay. Going to disengage our bottle, safety on, and let's empty what's left in the chamber. So pretty much I'm doing this like you do your golfing. One came flying out of there. Okay, I'm gonna go recover those. We'll give another turn and we'll come back. Make sure all your air is out. All right. All right, so far so good. Let's give another half turn. Another half turn, if it can go. Yep, it's getting tougher. Okay, so now we're sitting at two full turns, okay? Another full tank. All right, two turns, full tank. First shot. Oh, probably want to turn the air on. Okay. Two turns. First shot. Three nine seven, first shot. Second shot. Three eight three. Three eight four. Three eight five. Drop down to three six one. One more. Six shot. Back up to three eight two. All right, so. Let's go ahead and empty go ahead disengage our air and we're going to go ahead and empty with the 2.6 grams just curious to see if we catch a reading with that 
356 with a 2.6. Air tanks off, by the way. 364. 330, it's dropping. Okay, that's it. There we go. Make sure your air is gone, you're so disengaged. All right, so let me recover. Let's go for one, another half turn. Why not? Be back. All right, I'm back with 2.9 grams again. Another full bottle. Turn the air on. Nope, don't turn the air on. Half turn. Can we make another half turn? It's tight. That may be our max. Oh no. Dropping my stuff out my pocket. Ugh. Okay, so we got two and a half turns. Two point nine grams. Let's get some pressure. All right. So we left off. With our highest, the first shot being 397. Lowest shot being 361. That 361 in yeah, fluke, I don't know, maybe it was the ball. But, uh. Let's see what we get with 2.5 turns. First shot. Two and a half turns. Off the charts. Second shot. And it's loud. Again. Off the charts. So that may be a bit, that's a bit nuts for me. We're, we're, one more shot. Again, so that's going over 399. So let's go ahead and uh, let's dial it back some because if I can't read the number, I, I, I need to know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to dial it back some. Be back. On second thought, we're not going to dial it back. We're going to leave it here. We're going to leave it right where it is, unreadable for now. So we're, let's say, 400 feet per second. Right now we're shooting 400 feet per second with a 2.9 gram riot ball. I'm saying 400 feet per second because this stops at 399. Okay. Uh, and I've got some other ammo I'd like to test in this. So we're going to leave it here at two, uh, what we say, two and a half turns. We've done two and a half turns, okay? And the highest reading that we got that we successfully read was back at two turns at 397 feet per second. Uh, should I, let me do the joule calculation, hang on. All right, calculations are in. So our last readable measurement, so last readable feet per second, we had 
I can see here. Okay. So we had these six shots averaging at 2,292 divide that by six. You're going to get uh, 382 feet per second. That calculates to 19.55 joules. I round up anything above five and above gets bumped. So you're looking at about 20 joules. Okay. That's with two turns. 850 PSI uh, Tipman tank. 800 PSI output. Uh, what size is this one? This one is the, I don't remember, but it's got 3000 PSI. Um, it's the bigger of the two. It's not the 13. It's a 26. Oh, there it is, 26. It's a 26 CI. Okay, so, and that's using a 2.9 gram uh, bird on kinetic ground. Okay, so let's say we're shooting 400. Um, okay, just for crafts and giggles. Shooting 400. 400 feet per second using that projectile is 21.44. So 21 joules at 400 feet per second. 2.9 gram ball. Next video, we'll keep it at the two and a half turns, but we're going to go with the heavier projectile. That makes sense backing down because these, I'm just testing with the burners. That's not what I'm going to use in here. I want to use the steel core riot balls in here. So we're going to go with the heavier projectile for the next video. Leave it where it is. Go for part, I don't know, what's that going to be? Part four, five, if you want to call this a series. I don't know. But yeah, next video, have your projectiles, and we're going to keep the same 850 output. Use the same bottle, everything else. All we're going to do is change, change the round. That being said, thanks for coming out to watch. It's your host, Mr. LSC, signing out. Bidding you God bless. Something is better than nothing. Keep you and yours safe. Keep yourself protected. That's it. Peace.